gold rush continued for Russia into the final day. The host nation cementing their place at the top of the medals table with two further gold medals on Sunday. The latest coming in the four-man bobsleigh event. Now, Alexander Zubkov and Alexei Voyevoda were part of that crew, meaning they've added to the gold that they'd already won in the two-man competition. That was Russia's first bobsleigh gold since the fall of the Soviet Union. They very quickly added their second. Elsewhere today, there was a first for Russia at these games. They secured a 1-2-3 gold, silver and bronze. They completed the podium in the men's cross-country skiing in the 50k mass start. Alexander Levkov finishing first in what proved to be another thrilling climax. So let's see what all of that has done to the medals table. And as you say, Russia outright leaders at the top. The hosts lead. It's their best display since the fall of the Soviet Union. And an even more surprising turnaround as four years ago, Russia put in one of their worst ever displays, winning only three golds. But it seems that the investment in coaching and facilities in the last four years has paid off 13 gold medals now and 33 in total. But of course, there is a fine line between success and failure and uh, a fine line between uh, joy and despair. And my colleague Andrew Farmer now takes a look at the highs and lows of Sochi 2014. The longest ever torch relay, igniting the most expensive, the most compact, and one of the most watched Winter Olympics in years. Against stunning backdrops, gripping stories of heartbreak and joy emerged on a daily basis. Russia's red machine, taking seconds to light up a nation's heart, then deflating it days later with a quarter-final exit. Russian figure skaters left the world dizzy, with a veteran and a youngster helping them grab the first ever team gold. But hopes of more glory buckled under a bad back and media hype heaped on tiny shoulders. Only for another star to sparkle and shine and take her country and fans to new Olympic heights. The ups and downs came thick and fast. And so did new Russians. An American who married a Siberian sped to snowboarding gold for the hosts, while a South Korean slipped to glory in short track, repaying the faith of his new adoptive country. These just some of the amazing Hollywood-like stories Sochi's produced to keep millions tuned in worldwide and should be remembered long after the Olympic flame finally goes out over the Black Sea. Andrew Farmer for RT, Sochi.